Nucleus Accumbens, Wikipedia article audio. The Nucleus Accumbens, also known as the Accumbens Nucleus, or formerly as the Nucleus Accumbens Septi is a region in the basal forebrain rostral to the preoptic area of the hypothalamus. The Nucleus Accumbens and the olfactory tubercle collectively form the ventral striatum. The ventral striatum and dorsal striatum collectively form the striatum, which is the main component of the basal ganglia. The dopaminergic neurons of the mesolimbic pathway project onto the GABergic medium spiny neurons of the nucleus accumbens and olfactory tubercle. Each cerebral hemisphere has its own nucleus accumbens, which can be divided into two structures, the nucleus accumbens core and the nucleus accumbens shell. These substructures have different morphology and functions. Structure Input Output Shell Core Cell types Neurochemistry Function Reward and reinforcement Maternal behavior Aversion Slow-wave sleep Clinical significance Addiction Depression Ablation Placebo effect Different NACC subregions and neuron subpopulations within each region are responsible for different cognitive functions. As a whole, the nucleus accumbens has a significant role in the cognitive processing of motivation, aversion, reward, and reinforcement learning. Hence, it has a significant role in addiction. In addition, part of the nucleus accumbens core is centrally involved in the induction of slow-wave sleep. The nucleus accumbens plays a lesser role in processing fear, impulsivity, and the placebo effect. It is involved in the encoding of new motor programs as well. The nucleus accumbens is an aggregate of neurons which is described as having an outer shell and an inner core. Major glutamatergic inputs to the nucleus accumbens include the prefrontal cortex, basolateral amygdala, ventral hippocampus, thalamic nuclei, and glutamatergic projections from the ventral tegmental area. The nucleus accumbens receives dopaminergic inputs from the ventral tegmental area which connect via the mesolimbic pathway. The nucleus accumbens is often described as one part of a corticobasal ganglia-thalamocortical loop. Dopaminergic inputs from the VTA modulate the activity of GABergic neurons within the nucleus accumbens. These neurons are activated directly or indirectly by euphoriant drugs and by participating in rewarding experiences. Another major source of input comes from the CA1 and ventral subiculum of the hippocampus to the dorsomedial area of the nucleus accumbens. Slight depolarizations of cells in the nucleus accumbens correlates with positivity of the neurons of the hippocampus, making them more excitable. The correlated cells of these excited states of the medium spiny neurons in the nucleus accumbens are shared equally between the subiculum and CA1. The subiculum neurons are found to hyperpolarize while the CA1 neurons ripple in order to accomplish this priming. The nucleus accumbens is one of the few regions that receive histaminergic projections from the tubra mammillary nucleus. The output neurons of the nucleus accumbens send axonal projections to the basal ganglia and the ventral analog of the globus pallidus, known as the ventral pallidum. The VP, in turn, projects to the medial dorsal nucleus of the dorsal thalamus, which projects to the prefrontal cortex as well as the striatum. Other efferents from the nucleus accumbens include connections with the tail of the ventral tegmental area, substantia nigra, and the reticular formation of the pons. The nucleus accumbens shell is a substructure of the nucleus accumbens. 
the shell and core together form the entire nucleus accumbens. Location, the shell is the outer region of the nucleus accumbens, and unlike the core is considered to be part of the extended amygdala, located at its rostral pole. Cell types, neurons in the nucleus accumbens are mostly medium spiny neurons containing mainly D1 type or D2 type dopamine receptors. A subpopulation of MSNs contain both D1 type and D2 type receptors, with approximately 40% of striatal MSNs expressing both DRD1 and DRD2 mRNA. These mixed type NACC MSNs with both D1 type and D2 type receptors are mostly confined to the NACC shell. The neurons in the shell, as compared to the core, have a lower density of dendritic spines, less terminal segments, and less branch segments than those in the core. The shell neurons project to the subcommissural part of the ventral pallidum as well as the ventral tegmental area and to extensive areas in the hypothalamus and extended amygdala. Function The shell of the nucleus accumbens is involved in the cognitive processing of reward, including subjective liking reactions to certain pleasurable stimuli, motivational salience, and positive reinforcement. That NACC shell has also been shown to mediate specific Pavlovian instrumental transfer, a phenomenon in which a classically conditioned stimulus modifies operant behavior. A hedonic hotspot or pleasure center which is responsible for the pleasurable or liking component of some intrinsic rewards is also located in a small compartment within the medial NACC shell. The D1 type medium spiny neurons in the NACC shell mediate reward related cognitive processes, whereas the D2 type medium spiny neurons in the NACC shell mediate aversion related cognition. Addictive drugs have a larger effect on dopamine release in the shell than in the core. The nucleus accumbens core is the inner substructure of the nucleus accumbens. Location the nucleus accumbens core is part of the ventral striatum, located within the basal ganglia. Cell types, the core of the NACC is made up mainly of medium spiny neurons containing mainly D1 type or D2 type dopamine receptors. The neurons in the core, as compared to the neurons in the shell, have an increased density of dendritic spines, branch segments, and terminal segments. From the core, the neurons project to other subcortical areas such as the globus pallidus and the substantia nigra. GABA is one of the main neurotransmitters in the NACC, and GABA receptors are also abundant. Function the nucleus accumbens core is involved in the cognitive processing of motor function related to reward and reinforcement and the regulation of slow wave sleep. Specifically, the core encodes new motor programs which facilitate the acquisition of a given reward in the future. The indirect pathway neurons in the NACC core which CO express adenosine A2A receptors activation dependently promote slow wave sleep. The NACC core has also been shown to mediate general Pavlovian instrumental transfer, a phenomenon in which a classically conditioned stimulus modifies operant behavior. Approximately 95% of neurons in the NACC are GABergic medium spiny neurons which primarily express either D1 type or D2 type receptors. About 1-2% of the remaining neuronal types are large aspinicholinergic interneurons and another 1-2% are GABergic interneurons. Compared to the GABergic MSNs in the shell, those in the core have an increased density of dendritic spines, branch segments, and terminal segments. From the core, the neurons project to other subcortical areas such as the globus pallidus and the substantia nigra. GABA is one of the main neurotransmitters in the NACC, and GABA receptors are also abundant. 
These neurons are also the main projection or output neurons of the nucleus accumbens. Some of the neurotransmitters, neuromodulators, and hormones that signal through receptors within the nucleus accumbens include Dopamine Dopamine is released into the nucleus accumbens following exposure to rewarding stimuli, including recreational drugs like substituted amphetamines, cocaine, and morphine. Phenethylamine and tyramine Phenethylamine and tyramine are trace amine compounds which are synthesized in several types of CNS neurons, including all dopamine neurons. Specifically, these neurotransmitters act within the dopaminergic inputs to the NACC. These substances regulate the presynaptic release of dopamine through their interactions with VMAT2 and TAAR1, analogous to amphetamine. Glucocorticoids and Dopamine Glucocorticoid receptors are the only corticosteroid receptors in the nucleus accumbens shell. L-DOPA, steroids, and specifically glucocorticoids are currently known to be the only known endogenous compounds that can induce psychotic problems, so understanding the hormonal control over dopaminergic projections with regards to glucocorticoid receptors could lead to new treatments for psychotic symptoms. A recent study demonstrated that suppression of the glucocorticoid receptors led to a decrease in the release of dopamine, which may lead to future research involving anti-glucocorticoid drugs to potentially relieve psychotic symptoms. GABA A recent study on rats that used GABA agonists and antagonists indicated that GABA A receptors in the NAC shell have inhibitory control on turning behavior influenced by dopamine, and GABA B receptors have inhibitory control over turning behavior mediated by acetylcholine. Glutamate Studies have shown that local blockade of glutamatergic NMDA receptors in the NACC core impaired spatial learning. Another study demonstrated that both NMDA and AMPA play important roles in regulating instrumental learning. Serotonin Overall, 5-HT synapses are more abundant and have a greater number of synaptic contacts in the NAC shell than in the core. They are also larger and thicker, and contain more large dense core vesicles than their counterparts in the core. The nucleus accumbens, being one part of the reward system, plays an important role in processing rewarding stimuli, reinforcing stimuli, and those which are both rewarding and reinforcing. The predominant response of neurons in the nucleus accumbens to the reward sucrose is inhibition, the opposite is true in response to the administration of aversive quinine. Substantial evidence from pharmacological manipulation also suggests that reducing the excitability of neurons in the nucleus accumbens is rewarding, as, for example, would be true in the case of muopioid receptor stimulation. The blood oxygen level dependent signal in the nucleus accumbens is selectively increased during the perception of pleasant, emotionally arousing pictures and during mental imagery of pleasant, emotional scenes. However, as bold is thought to be an indirect measure of regional net excitation to inhibition, the extent to which bold measures valence dependent processing is unknown. A 2005 study found that it is involved in the regulation of emotions induced by music, perhaps consequent to its role in mediating dopamine release. The nucleus accumbens plays a role in rhythmic timing and is considered to be of central importance to the limbic motor interface. In the 1950s, James Olds and Peter Milner implanted electrodes into the septal area of the rat and found that the rat chose to press a lever which stimulated it. It continued to prefer this even over stopping to eat or drink. This suggests that the area is the pleasure center of the brain and is involved in reinforcement learning. In rats, 
stimulation of the ventral tegmental area causes the release of dopamine in the nucleus accumbens much in the same way as addictive drugs and natural reinforcers, such as water or food, initiate the release of dopamine in the nucleus accumbens. Increased activation was observed among heterosexual males viewing pictures of attractive women. An fMRI study conducted in 2005 found that when mother rats were in the presence of their pups the regions of the brain involved in reinforcement, including the nucleus accumbens, were highly active. Levels of dopamine increase in the nucleus accumbens during maternal behavior, while lesions in this area upset maternal behavior. When women are presented pictures of unrelated infants, FMRIS show increased brain activity in the nucleus accumbens and adjacent caudate nucleus, proportionate to the degree to which the women find these infants cute. Activation of D1 type MSNs in the nucleus accumbens is involved in reward, whereas the activation of D2 type MSNs in the nucleus accumbens promotes aversion. In late 2017, Studies on rodents which utilized optogenetic and chemogenetic methods found that the indirect pathway medium spiny neurons in the nucleus accumbens core which co-express adenosine A2A receptors and project to the ventral pallidum are involved in the regulation of slow-wave sleep. In particular, Optogenetic activation of these indirect pathway NACC core neurons induces slow-wave sleep and chemogenetic activation of the same neurons increases the number and duration of slow-wave sleep episodes. Chemogenetic inhibition of these NACC core neurons suppresses sleep. In contrast, the D2 type medium spiny neurons in the NACC shell which express adenosine A2A receptors have no role in regulating slow wave sleep. Current models of addiction from chronic drug use involve alterations in gene expression in the mesocorticolimbic projection. The most important transcription factors that produce these alterations are FOSIB cyclic adenosine monophosphate response element binding protein, and nuclear factor kappa B. FOSIB is the most significant gene transcription factor in addiction since its viral or genetic overexpression in the nucleus accumbens is necessary and sufficient for many of the neural adaptations and behavioral effects seen in drug addiction. FOSIB overexpression has been implicated in addictions to alcohol, cannabinoids, cocaine, methylphenidate, nicotine, opioids, phencyclidine, propofol, and substituted amphetamines, among others. Increases in nucleus accumbens jund expression can reduce or, with a large increase, even block most of the neural alterations seen in chronic drug abuse. FOSIB also plays an important role in regulating behavioral responses to natural rewards, such as palatable food, sex, and exercise. Natural rewards, like drugs of abuse, induce FOSIB in the nucleus accumbens, and chronic acquisition of these rewards can result in a similar pathological addictive state through FOSIB overexpression. Consequently, FOSIB is the key transcription factor involved in addictions to natural rewards as well, in particular, FOSIB in the nucleus accumbens is critical for the reinforcing effects of sexual reward. Research on the interaction between natural and drug rewards suggests that psychostimulants and sexual behavior act on similar biomolecular mechanisms to induce FOSIB in the nucleus accumbens and possess cross-sensitization effects that are mediated through FOSIB. Similar to drug rewards, non-drug rewards also increase the level of extracellular dopamine in the NACC shell. Drug-induced dopamine release in the NACC shell and NACC core is usually not prone to habituation, on the contrary, repeated exposure to drugs that induce dopamine release in the NACC shell and core typically results in sensitization. 
sensitization of dopamine release in the NACC shell following repeated drug exposure serves to strengthen stimulus drug associations and these associations become less prone to extinction. After repeated pairing, these classically conditioned environmental stimuli often become drug cues which function as secondary reinforcers of drug use. In contrast to drugs, the release of dopamine in the NACC shell by many types of rewarding non-drug stimuli typically undergoes habituation following repeated exposure. In April 2007, two research teams reported on having inserted electrodes into the nucleus accumbens in order to use deep brain stimulation to treat severe depression. In 2010, Experiments reported that deep brain stimulation of the nucleus accumbens was successful in decreasing depression symptoms in 50% of patients who did not respond to other treatments such as electroconvulsive therapy. Nucleus accumbens has also been used as a target to treat small groups of patients with therapy refractory obsessive compulsive disorder. To treat addiction and in an attempt to treat mental illness radio frequency ablation of the nucleus accumbens has been performed. The results are inconclusive and controversial. Activation of the NACC has been shown to occur in the anticipation of effectiveness of a drug when a user is given a placebo, indicating a contributing role of the nucleus accumbens in the placebo effect. Dopamine and serotonin MRI coronal slice showing nucleus accumbens outlined in red Sagittal MRI slice with highlighting indicating the nucleus accumbens